and welcome back to the channel. Good morning and happy new year to all of you, and especially my subscribers. This is Keel Dykin coming back at you today with this nice review of the official RetroPie base build. For those of you who guys who don't know, I am one of the members of the Supreme team that released Beta 2, Beta 4, and the Supreme Duo. Hope you guys are enjoying it. So I will give you guys a little bit of comparison in uh, comparison with the this particular build as the one we released. Obviously, we know they are still working on it, but I just want to take you guys through it to see if there are any improvements and as far as gameplay and as far as what we can expect in the future. Now, I know this was leaked to the public a few days ago, but I want to go ahead and give you guys my first thoughts, and I will go ahead and take a look at it. Now, currently, this build is still available online. And uh, anybody can download it. I don't know who leaked it. it definitely wasn't me. But um, I believe the initial download is about 2 gigs. And it will take advantage of all of the new features and everything that's on here. I spent a little bit of time playing around with it. And uh, there was one particular feature I was impressed with. So um, let's just go ahead and take a look at it. And uh, I'll get, let you guys know my final thoughts. Alright, so here we are at back at our base build loading up into emulation station. So before I go through the systems, um, I do already have a ROM pack that I loaded on here. It does not come pre-built with any ROMs whatsoever. And for those of you guys wondering how come there are no uh, themes on here, uh, that's because this is what an official RetroPie base typically looks like. Um, a lot of you guys are probably used to downloading pre-made images and whatnot, but uh, this is what it will look like if you were to download it and install uh, using the base carbon theme. <clears throat> um, I already have my video snaps and everything included. You got your videos here. Uh, everything looks, you know, kosher as that, you know, as it's supposed to, as you guys would ex expect from any type of build. Um, I loaded Nintendo on here as well, PlayStation, and uh, several other things on here. The video snaps are smooth. I had no concerns there. Yeah, no concerns there whatsoever. So uh, let me actually go into the menu first and I'll go over some of the things that uh, is a little different than what we've put out, obviously because that is almost like a semi pre-built image for you guys. So you have your audio, you got your Bluetooth, you got your configuration, you got your ES themes, file manager. Notice you don't see Hersty's uh, themes on here. He's a popular builder in the community. Uh, obviously that's not something you will, it will expect from the, uh, the official uh, team, but obviously anybody can add that at a later date. You got your Raspberry Config, Retro Arc, you got your RetroPie setup script, splash screens, and it also displays your Wi-Fi. Now, before I get started, I'm going to take you into your RetroPie setup. And one of the things that I noticed while going through this menu is I was not able to fully navigate using my Xbox controller. Uh, typically, you can use your D-pad and whatnot to navigate, which I am doing right now. I always use a Xbox Microsoft controller to uh, play all of my games and to test my Raspberry Pi builds and configurations. Uh, but one of the things you will notice on this base build, in fact, let me go back. Um, right now, I'm using my keyboard to navigate because the A and B button would not allow me to go forward or back. You see, I'm pressing the A and B button right now. That's something that has to be adjust, adjusted in the future. So you will have to use your left and right trigger uh, or left and right button. Oops, let me go back. To uh, initialize any of these menus as of right now. I don't know what's causing this, but I do have to hit the type top right button to see what the packages are. So let's go ahead and take a look at what packages are currently installed. In fact, I'm just going to use my keyboard right here so we don't get confused. All right, so here are the emulators that you guys see that is currently installed on here. 
and I did reload some cores as far as the SNES, um, but I'll get to that in a moment. Here are your optional packages. Uh, recast. Uh, recast will not work on the front end of RetroPie. You have to use desktop, and I believe it has something to do. Well, I'll get into that a little bit later, but recast does work, for example, on the Supreme Duo. So you see the official team, they're still working on certain things. Obviously, we can expect that to work in the future. Uh, maybe not through desktop, but maybe through Pixel if they choose to load it. Um, this particular build does not have any of the popular emulators installed. Uh, Final Burn Alpha 2012, MAME 2000, MAME 2010. Uh, these emulators that you guys are looking at are not installed right now. Um, if it was installed, it would say uh, installed on here. So, but that's something you guys can you know add yourselves. Uh, driver packages. I haven't messed with any of these yet. However, my Xbox controller is currently working. And let's go to manage experimental packages. So. Uh, these are some things I know I've been out for a little while and I really haven't done a follow-up review in regards to um, the where we are now with RetroPie 4, RetroPie Gaming, and emulators, but I'll go ahead and cover that for you guys right now. And I have mentioned this in several of the forums uh, in regards to ad games as well. I will be doing a follow-up review in regards to ad games and what they're doing with their boards. So here's a list of all the emulators that are not currently compiled on here, but I believe they will be in the future. Uh, Flycast is a popular emu emulator for Dreamcast, but it's not needed. Uh, you do have Redream now, and you also have Recast, which runs. I believe uh, Dirty Gaming had some <clears throat> issues trying to load Recast on uh, the Supreme Beta 2, 4, and Dual builds. But obviously, that's the thing of the past now. But RetroPie, the official team, they haven't uh, gotten that working or installed yet. And you also see MAME 2015 and 2016, as well as MAME and MESS 2016 and MESS are currently not installed. Uh, the reason why I point those out as far as MAME 2016, MAME, and MAME 2000, uh, MESS 2016 and MESS, uh, these particular emulators, as far as these two, MAME 2016 and MAME, each one of these takes about two and a half days to compile. I've had to do this several times when I was beta testing or testing which ROMs or RK ROMs would work on the Pi 4. I've tested all of them. Uh, I've tested all of them. I worked with uh, Damaso to find out which new RK games will be compatible to work on the Pi 4. And uh, each time there was a new beta build, I know you guys have beta 2, beta 4, but there were several other working versions that we were messing around with before we released it to the public uh, with the Supreme Team. And I, yeah, so I probably had to do this about six or seven times as far as compiling these two emulators on a RetroPie or on the Pi 4. And it, each one takes about two and a half days. It's no joke because you have to compile it from source. So um, I can understand why these two right now are not loaded, but um, for you guys out there in retro gaming, you don't need Final Burn Alpha or anything else because MAME 2016 will run any ROM set out there and 98% of any ROM for arcade, so you don't have to worry about that uh, or which emulator you need. And then MAME is the official MAME emulator. So this one surpasses MAME 2016 and it surpasses any other emulator out there. You don't need MAME 2010 or 2003 or MAME for All. None of that garbage. This will run every arcade game out there. Uh, the problem with it, though, is it is a process hog. So it does need a lot of process uh, power in order to run uh, the emulators or run the games. So uh, I'll get to that in another review, but um, just wanted to show you guys what's currently loaded and what's not loaded. They still got some work cut out for them. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna exit out. Uh, let me take a look at configuration tools really quick. Oops, let me go back. We'll take a look here at the configuration tools. And you have all the things here that you can play around with that you would normally be expected to see. You got your Bluetooth and other options in there if you want to hook up your Xbox controller or your PlayStation 3 controller. All those things are there for you. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and exit back. I'm going to show you guys one more thing. 
And we're going to go into Raspberry config. Go ahead and get that loaded up for you guys. And here we are in Raspi config. Uh, one of the things that did stand out to me initially was apparently they added the drivers or the ability to have your video output set at 4K or 4K 60 frames uh, per second. So this looks like it is a viable option. We do not have this on the Supreme uh, beta bills or the Supreme Duo. I have not, I mean, I have, it's been a while since I've actually checked it, but I could probably confirm that about maybe a 90% rate that we do not have this installed. So this is something brand new that I noticed that was uh, added on here. Uh, and that was about the only thing that was in there that I noticed that we don't have. And so I know you guys want to see some gameplay. Um, I do have the ROMs loaded. I have Super Nintendo. I have Arcade, Sega Master System, at Mega Drive, Neo Geo. Now, the only problem and the reason why I didn't start this review off by launching any of the games is I spent the past hour trying to get some of these games to run and I can't play them. Um, as you guys can see, the games are here. I'll go to start them up. I made sure that <clears throat> the ROMs are properly associated with the corresponding emulator. And I haven't tried PlayStation. Let's go ahead and try this one to see if this one works. Okay, so it's backing out and I've had that problem happen so far on each and every one of the systems, Nintendo, Super Nintendo as well. Um, I believe right now they are somewhere in the stages before our beta one release because there was a problem when you have the emulators on here, you have the games and it would not launch. Um, overall, uh, at this point, you know, this is a work in progress, but at this point, I'm a slightly disappointed about the base build because there are a number of issues with it. Um, one is the controller. Obviously, I can't just use my standard A, B button to select in the menu. As you guys saw earlier, I had to use my keyboard, um, but none of these games will launch. Uh, also, too, when I was transferring the ROMs over, typically... I just click and drag them over into the corresponding ROM folder. Uh, there's a, also an error with the Pi 4 where you have to initialize that or activate it where it doesn't, where it allows you to uh, drag over your folders or your ROMs over to the right folder and uh, install them. You cannot do that right now on this base build. It gave me the little red circle with the line in the middle to uh, show that I couldn't do it. So I had to copy and paste the games and the artwork over in order to make it happen wasn't it's not a big detail but if you're programming and you're developing this that is something that could be a hassle to some people also too i'm not sure if the uh win scp login is working i'm not sure if it's activated i didn't have time to really fully check but i did notice that when i did type in my ip address and also the pi settings and the password it would not give me access to access the pi 4. That is something that has to be enabled. I can tell you that even though uh, for you guys out there that may have a Raspberry Pi 4 and you try to hook it up over your network or hook it up to WinSCP, it is disabled. So it is a lot harder to uh, access your Pi over the network if you're using a standard uh, Raspbian Buster uh, front end on your uh, and hooking it up to your computer. It is a little hassle to do that, so uh, I know uh, Dirty Gaming, he activated it on uh, this on our uh, particular Pi build, but so far right now on this official Pi build, it is deactivated, so that's something they'll have to activate in the future. Um, but as of right now, was you know just for me being an experienced image maker and uh, being an experienced dev working with uh, RetroPie 4, there are a lot of conversions that... Uh, the team that they do have their work cut out for them, and I do believe that there are about ten devs working on this project. Um, they're definitely putting their time and work in, but as of right now, I can't get anything to launch. Uh, I've tried the three different SNES emulators that are currently uh, installed on here, and none of them are working. So I'm going to go back in here again, select a different emulator.
and every time it backs out. So I remember we had this problem before beta one, it was fixed. And so this gives me a little idea uh, as far as where they are with the whole process. Um, so let me try one more thing and then um, I'll back out from here, but, and I'll leave uh, links in the description below. And we're gonna go to, let's try the Sega Master System. And one of the other things I did notice on a few of the menus, it did take me about a minute or two to uh, transition from one menu to the other when I left the uh, RetroArch uh, menu going back into RetroPie. So uh, I'm not sure what's causing that, but those are a few other hiccups that they will have to address in the future. But just wanted to give you guys this first look and give you guys exactly an idea about where they are right now. And I do believe this is displaying at 4K at uh, 4K uh, resolution right now. Um, I do believe the video output settings were initially set for that, which is a little different. I can't really confirm that, but I can tell on my TV it's a little bit crispier than uh, maybe a 1080p setting. So, okay. Let's see if this one launches. <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> I'm still having problems launching any of these. Um, if you guys are interested in keeping up to date to find out exactly where the RetroPie team or development uh, is going right now, or if they've made any improvements or updates, Please subscribe to uh, not only my channel, but also the RetroPie official group on Facebook. Uh, a lot of devs are in that group. Uh, the Supreme team's in that group, as well as a lot of other image makers and devs who are familiar and know their stuff. So uh, we will keep you guys updated, but I just wanted to give you guys this first look to get your initial impressions, to get let you guys know exactly where they are. Um, I believe they started working on this the same time that we did. and. Uh, you know, we are a community. We're going to try to help one another and see what happens. But uh, this is where they are right now after about five months of uh, developing. So uh, this is uh, Keo Daikin. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll keep you guys up to date about what's going on uh, with the RetroPie as well as what's going to be going on with Arcade 1UP at Games and a lot of other subjects out there. I try to keep my channel diverse. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon, and uh, stay tuned. It has a lot of great things coming your way. Bye-bye.